Brighton and Cove Albion. How's their summer looked? Well, lots of players that you'd expect to go out, including for 70 million bucks, Ben White onto Arsenal. On the left, today they signed Abdallah Sima for 10 million dollars the forward and Mark Kukurea, the defender slash midfielder, will call him 21 million dollars and a couple of others for an undisclosed fee as well. So, Robbie Earl, do we feel they've covered the need for goals well enough with who they've brought in over the course of this summer? Well, the likes of Mwepu and, and Kukurela. Um, Kukurela's left-sided player who played in the Olympics uh, likes to get forward. I think he'll enjoy working with Graham Potter. Mwepu is a midfield player who can go box to box. So I think him and Eve Basuma will, will be good. Um, it's a team that's always going to have to get goals from other areas of the pitch. Neil Mope started the season quite well. The two stars at the football club for me, Eve Basuma is still there and that's a bonus. And Graham Potter... Outside the top four, Rebecca, I would say Bielsa report, the best coach in the league for me. And I think he's destined for big things. And his ability to, to get his team to keep the ball, to create chances, to have good possession, I think sets them apart. Have they bought well enough for you? <sighs> They've got money on the table, haven't they? From that money from Ben White, which they haven't used. I get that. Cucurea, I did a lot of his games for Spain. Really good player. Like, comfortable on the ball, loves to get forward, he's got the big hair, he looks the part. I think it's a, it's a position that they really needed. They've had all sorts of different yeah, players Marsh. playing at left back and Solly March and even uh, Burn, Pascal right. Gross played there, Dan Byrne. I just think they've lost some players, you know. They've lost Davy Proper, Matt, uh, Matt Ryan, Bernardo, as well as Ben White. And it's, that's quite a lot of experience out of the dressing room. Um, I, I do like the manager as well. I just mm. think it won't be, it's not a they still might have a struggle. They might still have a look over the shoulder with the way that they play. If they can turn the possession, yeah. the lovely build-up play into more goals, of course, they'll be fine. I just, you know, it, wasn't, it was a little bit touch and go last year for them. Graham Potter is interesting because you hear a lot of ex-pros, and I've had a lot, believe he should step into an Arsenal or a Spurs. And then you hear a lot who absolutely believe, well, no. I mean, he's, he's struggling to keep Brighton up year mm. after year. Where do you stand? I, I, I stand that not yet for those big clubs. I think why we all like him, Rebecca, because certainly me, you, you can see a pattern of play. You can see what he's trying to do. He, he makes the pitch huge. He, he, you know, the football is really, really good to the final third, and then it's not quite so great. He is absolutely on that path, but it's a little bit like Eddie Howe, isn't it? Eddie Howe kind of proved himself, was ready for the job, and never really never got came. it, and then it kind of went downhill. So if it continues with him, if he finishes mid-table, top ten, then absolutely right. It's just that's not going to be easy this year for him. Think he's ready, or do you think a little a little more time? A little bit more time, but um, he's dashing for big things, Rebecca. Better than Eddie Howe? Yeah, better than Eddie Howe for me. Yeah. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7am Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.